Pit Craig, you had a big crash last year in the Giro. So how have things been since then? Yeah, it's gone pretty well. Um, had a had a bone graft and some hardware exchange in December. So since then, uh, feeling a lot more mobility and able to walk a little better and put pressure on the leg. So things are starting to turn around for the best. How did the crash happen? Uh, I, I don't know exactly how it happened, but it was it was raining and and uh, we were coming into a town and there was a, a street sign in the middle of the road with no marshal and no signs uh, marking it or anything. So uh, first few riders kind of passed it, and then you know each additional rider passing it came closer and closer until somebody just hit it, and that was me, fortunately. And Marco Panotti, teammate, also went down as well. Yeah, yeah, I think about uh, eight, around eight guys maybe went down, and uh, just Marco and I ended up in the hospital. It was bad luck for the team. You had a bad crash a few years ago as well, so I guess I mean I guess you know the drill and coming back from it, but it must also be tough psychologically to go through it all again. Yeah, it's it's not uh, not ever good to go through something that uh, traumatic. Um, this one's harder because you know my wife was more involved with it. So we uh, before I was just a teenager and kind of dealing with it on my own. Uh, but yeah, men mentally it's tough, and and physically this one's been a bit more difficult because it's my leg. You know, the the previous one was, you know, I had a couple issues with my tibia, but most of it was upper body, so it's not uh, not something you use on a bike. But this is my femur, so I kind of need it to be 100%. What were you, you coming back from that? What were the difficulties? I mean, Ed Beeman mentioned yesterday that you'd trouble walking at one point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just the, it didn't heal for, for six months. And then uh, we kind of started from, from ground zero there in December. So they go in and chisel the bone, remove some bone. And, you know, what bleeds they leave and what doesn't they take out. Uh, and then they put some, some cadaver bone in there and some kind of morphogenic protein to try to get it to come together. Um, and then on top of that, uh, one of the screws in my hip was, you know, maybe a centimeter or more too long. So they shortened that up. And that helped me help me walk with a little less pain, um, but yeah, the, just uh, the fracture site was constantly hurting me, and my hip was constantly hurting me. So I had to try to resolve those issues, and it seemed seemed to work so far. It sounds almost bionic, man. You know the grafts yeah. and the whole lot. Yeah, yeah, but you're you're feeling better since that. I am. Yeah, I really am. And the doctors are pretty confident. I think they they still see it being another six months or so before it takes. But um, they, it's definitely heading in the right direction. How have you been able to train in that time? Are you are you pretty far back in where you'd normally be this time of year, or have you been able to catch up to an extent? Uh, yeah, pr pretty far back, but I, I seem to come around fairly quick. Um, didn't really do anything in December, um, end of November to all of December. I didn't do much, but we had a good training camp in, in January in China. Um, in the past few weeks, I've really been able to, to step up the intensity a good bit. So. Um, it's going to be nice to be here and, and hopefully get 10 days of good racing in. How's the champion system team been thus far? Yeah, they've been amazing. Um, champion system, great, great sponsor, and you know I think they they want what's best for the sport and, and want to want to use the team to try to promote it internationally. Um, Ed's been amazing to work with. You know he's got a lot on his plate, but he's he's uh, managing very well. You're part of a big team before, and now you're one of the, the I guess, the leaders on, on this, this smaller team that's got big ambitions. So, does that give you an additional motivation that you're responsible in ways for how this will grow? Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's there's a lot of issues coming into play now. Um, I am kind of looked up to as a bit of a leader, but we have we have several of those guys on the team, so it's not like I'm I'm the only one. Um, but it definitely adds a little motivation to help me push through. Uh, recover, come back to the way I used to be, and, and uh, you know, get my own chances in a few races here and there. What do you want from Tour Lankawi, personally and also on a team level? Uh, team level, probably first and foremost. You know, we got Adwar here, he's a fast sprinter, and, and he's won he's won one stage at least in the past, and maybe the green jersey a couple times. So, uh, to get to get a stage win with him, or at least a few podiums, would be be the highlight of, of the race and then uh, for myself is is just try to get through the first week and see if I can you know find find some form there on Gentine and you know just keep pushing day to day and, and try to get the most out of the race and after that do you have an idea of what the, the schedule is like uh, it's still a little up in the air we're waiting on a few invitations from 
from races like California. So we're, we're going to head over to Europe in uh, March and April and then back to the States for, uh, you know, definitely Philly and Bose and, and Qinghai Lake and these, these other races. So it's kind of coming together, but it's taking a little time. And I guess the end of the year tour of Beijing and, and there's also talk of a new UCI <coughs> race in China as well. So I guess that's something to aim for as well. Right. That's what I hear. I mean, Beijing should be uh, an issue for us to get into. Um, and that, that would be a great race to, to uh, you know, hopefully put to use everything we've gained of, over the year and all the experience. That's so definitely on my calendar. It's something I want to look forward to.